Salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'awzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ برن سسٹرز وی آر ان لیسن نمبر فائی اور اگین بریفلی آئی ویل اکسپلین یو فیو سیلینٹ پوائنٹس آف لیسن نمبر فائی ان لیسن نمبر فائی فار دی فرس ٹائم وی آر کمینگ اکراس مفولون بیہی وی آر لرننگ اباوٹ مفولون بیہی سو we have to understand before I explain you mafulun bihi that there are two kinds of verbs uh, in English language you know, and in Arabic language these verbs are called transitive and intransitive uh. okay brothers and sisters in Arabic we say al mutaaddi muta D. And this is Al Lazimu. Okay. Transitive verbs means, brothers and sisters, that the action of the verb, the action, which is verb, and there's a doer of action. The action is transferred to something else. The file is the doer of the action and then there is something which receives the action. 
Okay? If I tell you in English, I ate. I did not give you a complete sense. Huh? Until I tell you what I ate. If I tell you I ate, what did you eat? Did you eat bread? Did you eat cheese? What did you eat? If I say I ate an apple, are you with me? Now the apple is the one which received the action of eating. Huh? I was the subject. If I tell you Hamid ate an apple, you can say. Okay? So who's the doer of action? Hamid. Hamid. What is the action? Eating. Eating. Who received the action? Apple. It received the action of being eaten. Sahih? So then Hamid is the subject, uh, eight is the verb, and apple is the object. Object of the verb. Are you with me? So, if I say in Arabic now, akaltu. So, you say, what is this akaltu? Tell me a little more. Okay? So, akal is your verb. Tu is your file. Now, we need something else to complete the sense. So, I say, akaltu atufaha. Atufaha. Now, atufaha is the mafulun bihi. Because it received the action of eating. Okay? <coughs> Is it clear a little bit, brothers and sisters? Or it is 100% clear, inshallah? Okay, now, transitive verb, brothers and sisters, will need, transitive verb will need mafulun bihi, object. Huh? Transitive name, verbs will need, huh? will need an object. What do we say in Arabic? It will need mafulun bihi. It will need mafulun bihi. Okay? Now, in transitive verb, there's a fial and there's a file, and they give us complete sense. There's no need for an object. Means, fial and file are happy together. There is no need for anybody else to come in their lives. So if I say, Muhammad sat. He sat. But then if you say, Muhammad drank. What did he drink? Then we can say, Muhammad drank tea or coffee or water. Okay, how, I, how do I translate in Arabic? Shariba Muhammadun. Huh? Then you can say al maa Ashaya, or Al-Kahwata. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, all this al maa Ashaya, or Kahwata, these are all mafulun bi. Huh? And they are always mansub. They are always, always Mansu, are you with me? So, how do I find out whether the verb is transitive or intransitive? How do I find out? By I ask a question. Huh? The question is, you ask a question huh, to the verb. What question will you ask? What? Or whom? If you get a proper answer for these things, brothers and sisters, then it means it needs mafurun bihi. Muhammad ate. Now you ask a question. Ate what? Then you will get an answer. Okay? Now that answer will be your 
mafulun bihi that he ate a piece of bread or cheese or a banana or apple whatever okay fine now if you say muhammad sat now you ask a question sat what no it, it's not right huh there is no answer for that huh? so it means that sitting or muhammad sat does not need mafulun bi it does not need mafulun bi huh? because it's complete itself in book 1 we did zahaba kharaja jalasa and raja'a these were all intransitive verbs they were lazim huh? and that is the beauty of dr abdul rahim's vision and it is far sightedness you know that he will bring everything step by step so in the in book 1 we were not concerned about transitive verbs now starting from lesson 5 we are doing transitive verbs and now the flood gates of verbs are open and they'll come in deluge huh they will come in large numbers you know left and right up and down you will see verbs now okay and then the verbs will be transitive and intransitive so when it is transitive you will see the mafulun bi and it's very easy and very interesting brothers and sisters now the next thing is that if i say here kara a Muhammadun. See, file is always marfu. Kara a Muhammadun. What did he read? Huh? The question is, what did he read? Kara a Muhammadun al Qur'an. Now, see, it is mafulun bihi mansubun. Why mansubun, brothers and sisters? Because now it has got fata. Huh? I say Sharibat Aminatu Al Ma A Sharibat Where is the verb Shariba then Tawtanisi and where is the file Aminatu okay Sharibat Aminatu Amina drank drank what huh? then we get the answer al ma so then al ma is your mafulun bihi and do you see that it is mansub mafulun bihi will always be mansub okay now if i just write it down here zahaba <coughs> Hamidun. Okay, Zahaba Hamidun. Hamid went. Ask a question. Went what? It does not fit. Huh? There is no need for mafulun bi. Zahaba Hamidun. He went. Khalas. There is no need for mafulun bi. So it means this is fiel lazim. in in english intransitive and shariba is transitive qara'a is transitive do you understand transitive okay now here qur'ana an alma'a is is mafulun bihi sahi it is mafulun bihi Now, if I say to you, uh, "Fataha Hamidun," okay, Al Bab, Fataha Hamidun Al Bab, Fataha. He opened. Hamid opened. Ask a question. 
opened what? The door. So this is your mafulun bihi. Sahi. If I tell you, man fataha al baba. Man fataha al baba. Who opened the door? Are you with me? Who opened the door? Now, Hamid answers. Ana fatahtu hu. See, now instead of, he can say, Ana fatahtu al baba. But instead, the more suitable answer will be, Ana fatah. See, now fatah is your verb. Tu is your fa'il. And then who is your? What is who, brothers and sisters? Mafur and bihi. Got the idea? Huh? So, fatah tu hu. Brothers and sisters, break it down now. Break it down. Huh? How many words are there? Three words, brother. Fatah. Huh? Fiel. Fa'il. And then, mafulun bihi. So in other words, the damir can come as a mafulun bihi. And when the damir will come, it will always be attached. Because this damir is damirun muttasilun. Attached pronoun. It cannot come separate. We are going to learn about separate pronouns when they are mansu in book three, inshallah. Huh? We are going to learn in book three, inshallah. We are going to repeat briefly for the benefit of Sister Manas. They have come long way, long drive. May Allah bless you for your sacrifices. May Allah reward you thousandfold for all of you, brother. All of you in this weather to come shows that you are a real parwana. Aap log sab parwane hai. Ilm ki shama jal rahi hai. Parwane ghar pe nahi bhaet sakte. The parwanas cannot sit home. They have to come to where the ilm is. The, the light of ilm is illuminated. Okay, brothers and sisters, so briefly again, now we are learning that there are two kinds of verb. Word is muta'addi, which is transitive verb. And one is lazim, which is intransitive verb. Muta'addi verb or transitive verb will need mafulun bihi, otherwise the sense is not there. Huh? Otherwise the sense is not there. I read... You are wondering, what did I read? Did I read newspaper? Did I read book? Did I read magazine? Did I read Quran? What did I read? So unless I add one more thing, you are not getting the complete sense out of the sentence. So then I said, I read the Quran. Huh? So how will you say, Karatu al-Quran? Na. Sahi? That is your mutaaddi. Transitive verb. Okay, brothers and sisters? So these are some of the examples that I gave you. Now I write down one verb, brother, and then we are going to conjugate them. Huh? We are going to conjugate them, inshallah. Sa'ala. Al Mudar Ri Su. What is it? Saala Al Mudar Ri Su. Saala Al Mudar Ri Su. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No. Mudar is asked. Are you with me? Mother is asked. 
Can you ask this? Our question? Can you ask this verb a question? What will you say? Asked what? Because in order to find out whether the verb is transitive or not, you have to say these things. Huh? What do you have to say? You have to ask. What? Or whom? Okay? So here you say, Mudaris asked. Asked whom? Or ask what? Okay? So then, definitely Mudaris is going to ask some individual. Okay? He's not going to ask uh, a chair or a table, but he's going to ask some individual. So then, Mudaris, Sa'al al-Mudarisu, and if I say, it was the Hamid who was asked, so what will you say? Sa'al al-Mudarisu, Hami dan. Are you with me? I will write down. Here, Hami dan. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hami dan. Now, instead of Hami dan, which is Mafulun Bihi, I say in English, the teacher asked him. What did I say? The teacher asked him. So how will I say now? Sa'ala hu, masha'Allah, masha'Allah. See, sa'ala hu al mudarri su. Are you with me? Sa'ala hu al mudarri su. Right. So then I write down here. Sa'ala hu al mudarri su. And I take this off. Sa'ala hu al mudarri su. Brothers and sisters, where is the verb? Sa'ala. What is this who doing here? Maf'ulun bihi mansubun. You cannot separate it. Huh? You cannot say Sa'ala, Sa'ala al mudarisu who? No. This is an attached pronoun. Are you with me? I cannot say like this. Separately. It cannot come separate. It has to be attached. Okay? And these are Damirun Mutasilun. Remember we did in the beginning Damirun Munfasilun, which is Hua Humahum, Hia Humahunna. And then what is the form of the same Damir? But instead of Marfu, Mansub or Majroor. What did I say? Mansub or Majroor. What is the form? Hu, Huma, Hum, Ha, Huma, Hunna, Ka, Kuma, Kum, Ki, Kuma, Kunna, Ya Mutakallim, and Na. What are these brothers and sisters? You must remember. These are Damirun, Mutasilun. They are attached pronoun. When the pronoun is attached to the noun, we get muda muda lehi. When the pronoun is attached to the preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. When the pronoun is attached to the zarf, we get zarf. And mudafile. This is how will you say zarf and mudafile. Now, if the pronoun is attached to the verb, what do you get? Huh? You have mafulun bihi, mansub. Okay. When you say kitabuhu, then who is mudafile? He majrur. When you say minhu, minhu is it's a majroor because of min. Huh? When you say, Indahu, Indah is a zarf, and who is mudaf ilayhi, majroor. But when you have this who attached to the verb, then you get mafulun bihi mansu. And similarly, if you say, Inna, 
and then you attach the pronoun. So what is that pronoun? Ismu inna mansur. See, now we know that the same who can be majrur or it can be mansu. If it is inna and akhwatu inna, then it will become ismu inna mansu. If it is attached to the verb, it becomes mansur. Huh? So, brothers and sisters, sa'allahu al mudarrisu. Huh? Okay. Now, I want to attach all the 14 pronouns with this verb. If you say, sa'alahu al mudarrisu, what is the what is the meaning, translation? The teacher asked him. Now we start our 14 pronouns. Sa'alahuma al mudarrisu. What's the translation? The teacher asked two of them. I say, sa'alahum al mudarrisu. The teacher asked them. So what is whom? Mafulun bihi. Say. And then, sa'alaha al mudarrisu. The teacher asked her. I say, Sa'alahuma al mudarrisu. Now this is for feminine. So teacher asked two, two, okay. See here, I will write down here, brother. Sa'alahu, Sa'alahum, okay. Sa'alaha, are you with me? Sa'alaha, okay. In Sa'alahunna. But as I said, we can do 14 pronouns, okay. Let us do the 14 pronouns, one by. Sa'alahu, Sa'alahuma, Sa'alahum, Sa'alaha, Sa'alahuma, Sa'alahunna. Teacher asked you, Sa'alaka al mudarrisu. And then two of you, Salakuma al Mudarisu. Teacher asked all of you, Salakum al Mudarisu. Teacher asked a sister who was in front of him, Salaki al Mudarisu. Salakuma al Mudarisu. Salakumna, Salakunna al Mudarisu. Now comes, teacher asked me. See, here is the verb, brother and sister. What is the verb? You should, you should understand this very well. Huh? Sa'ala, this is your verb, and this is your mafulun bihi, and I will put here mudaris also, mudarisu, this is your file. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Okay. So, sa'ala, okay, Sa'alahu, Sa'alahuma, Sa'alaha, Sa'alaka, Sa'alakum, Sa'alaki was fine. When it came to Sa'ala and Ya Mutakalim, and you know what is the habit of Ya Mutakalim? It will give Kasra. So if I say like this, Sa'ala, and it will become Sa'ali. Now brother, there is no such a verb. Huh? This is your mafulun bihi. How can this be a verb? No way. Okay? Now we got to protect this verb huh, from being destroyed. Now this verb is destroyed. It's ruined. So then, this is what we bring, brother. We say sa'ala. Huh? And then I bring noon brother hmm? and then I tell Ya Mutakalam okay now you can come and join Ya Mutakalam says but I always give kasra uh, I say Ya Mutakalam don't worry don't give one kasra give ten kasras but give kasra to the noon so that the verb stays intact so what happens now Sa'alani. Whenever Ya Mutakalim will come, we will bring noon. What is this noon called? 
Nunu Vikaya. Noon of protection. Nunu Vikaya. Noon of protection. Nunu Vikayati. Noon of protection. Of protection. See, Nunul Vikayati, what kind of a murakkab is this? Nunul Vikayati, Mudaf Mudafili. So you can give OF in between. Noon of protection. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? Now, brothers and sisters, Sa'alani al Mudarrisu. So Mudarrisu is file, and then this is your Afulun Bihi. Okay? And then noon is Nunu Vikaya. Now I, I tell you, brothers and sisters, that here we have Sa'alahu. If I put Al Mudarisu, then Mudarisu becomes the file. But I don't put Mudaris. I just write down Sa'alahu. How will you translate? He asked him. Are you with me? He asked him. Because he is Damir. Mustatir as a file. He asked them. He asked her. He asked you. Huh? And if I say Sa'alani only, then he asked me. Are you with me? And then Sa'alana, you do not need noon of protection. Only in Ya Mutakalam you need a noon of protection to protect the verb from getting ruined. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? This is very important to understand. Now, we have already done the lesson, so I do not want to repeat it. Huh? Inshallah, you will do the lesson and you will repeat it. Huh? And if you don't understand, you will ask me in the tea break, brothers and sisters. We go to page number 32, brothers and sisters. Exercise number 3. Ta'ammalil amsilata la'atiyata. Ponder the following examples. Al Quranu. What is Al Quranu, brothers and sisters? Al Quranu. Marfu. It's Marfu. Huh? Al Quranu. What is it? Marfu. You see a Dhamma there. Now I have a sentence here, which is Kara at Talibul Qurana. So what is Kara? Fear. Where is the file? Atalibu. And what is Al-Qur'ana? Mafulun bihi. Got the idea? Very beautiful example. Next one. Al-Kahwatu. Shariba adaifu al-Kahwata. Shariba al-Daifu al-Kahwata. Where is the verb, brother? Shariba. Where is the file? Daifa. And where is Mafulun bihi? Kahwata. Huh? Always. Uh, see, this is the first time now we are coming across Mansu form in wholesale. <laughs> but then they are coming in wholesale now. They will come from everywhere now. See, that is, again I emphasize the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim's book. We were not introduced to this in book one and not up to Lesson 5. Now we are introduced and it will come in every sentence, more or less. Okay? Adarsu. Adarsu. See, marfu. Katabal mudarrisu darsa. The teacher wrote the lesson. Okay? Albabu. Fatahat aminatul baba. Fatahat Aminatul Bab. So where is the verb? Fataha. If you say Fatahat, then no, brother. The verb is Fataha. Then we have a Taotani see, that tells us that the doer of the action was a feminine. And then where is the file? Aminatu. Okay. And then what is Al Baba? Mafulun bihi. Inshallah. But this now gives you a lot of 
uh, you know, access to the sentences in the Quran now, inshallah. Now the point is this, brother. I had told you long time ago, the sequence of verbal sentence. What is the sequence of verbal sentence? Normally, there can be exceptions. Fial, file, and mafulun bihi. That is the sequence. Now when the mafulun bihi is in the form of a pronoun, then it is joined with the verb. Then it is fial, mafulun bihi, and file. Only if it is a pronoun. Otherwise not. Otherwise you will see it comes later. But there can be exceptions, brother and sister. Okay. So here is a Qara'a Talibu. Ask a question. You will get the answer. The student read. Read what? You get the answer. When you get the answer, it means the verb is transitive. What is the Arabic for transitive? Al-Mut'addi. Huh? Al-Mut'addi. Inshallah, slowly, slowly, you will uh, uh, master it. And if you don't remember, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Shariba Daifu. Daifu is the guest. The guest drank. Ask a question. Drank what? You get the answer. That he drank coffee. So coffee is your mafulun bi. Katabal mudarisu. Mudaris wrote. Ask a question. What is the question? Wrote what? And then you get the answer. Adarsa. That is your mafulun bihi. Fatahat aminatu. Amina opened. Ask a question. What is the question? Open what? You get the answer. When you get the answer, it is mafulun bihi. Jalasat aminatu. Ask a question. Ja, uh, uh, she said, said what? No, no, no. It doesn't, doesn't fit here. You know, it means that verb is uh, intransitive. It does not need mafulun bi. Once again, I repeat, in all of book one, we had four verbs. Zahaba, Kharaja, Jalasa, Raja. They were all intransitive. That was a deliberate planning of Dr. Abdul Rahim. Not to bring transitive verbs. If he had brought transitive verbs, then he has to explain mafulun bihi. But he waited till lesson number five in book two to introduce mafulun bihi. So that's very wonderful. A very beautiful. Because in other books, brothers and sisters, all these things will come right in the beginning. And it is confusing. Some, you don't know where to give dhamma, where to give fata. It causes a lot of confusion. But in this, uh, Dr. Abdurrahim's books, things are step by step. And now, from now onwards, keep your eyes open for mafulun bihi. Okay. So, Qara'at talibu al-Qur'ana. Qara'at talibu al-Qur'ana. But talibu is file, and al-Qur'an is very easy now for us. No difficulty here. Aijin, what is the meaning of Aijin? Specify. Huh? File and mafulun bihi fi jumalil atiyati in the following sentences. Da, da means put. Khattan wahidan tahta file. Put one line under the file. Wa khattaini, there is two lines. Tahtal mafulu bihi. Washkel. And vowelize. Akhira kulla minha. Okay? And vowelize every uh, file and mafulun bihi. Brother? 